so you ended up with a, a lot of front end people who were extremely creative trying these things. And of course, when you're, when you're dealing with things like MySpace, you want to make your MySpace page look really nice. And so you had that incentive to learn HTML and markup. You had that incentive to show off your profile because it was all about you, right? Now, when you, you, you access social media, you have to do it through a very confined set of, um, basically a confined container. And it's the same with, with anything where you are having to upload sort of like profile pictures, you're conforming to their standards, you're conforming to their requirements. You're not saying that you're, you're not allowed to put your profile picture to the right or to the left of you. You're not allowed to have, have links to various bits and pieces, or you're not allowed to alter the paragraphs. You know, it's, it's not, it's very constrained. It's very tightly coupled to what they want to do. And it's very corporate. It's very clinical. And I personally think it's very sad that we have lost the creative freedom of the web to these big companies, Facebook, Twitter, and so forth, who define how your personal digital self should look. And through through losing that we've lost the element of of creating a web page for the very first time with with zero barrier of entry i mean you you just have to sign up right 